In this video, I will be showing you how to install a k and air filter into a Mark VI Golf R. This is a 2012 Golf R. Now I've already gone ahead and taken off all the pieces, so at the end of the video you'll see me put it back together to understand how to take all the pieces apart. There's other videos that do show it too, but the main thing that I wanted to get across in my video is the fact that when taking this engine cover off, you have to pull on it really, really hard. Let me just show you what I mean. There's four rubber grommets. My phone will focus. No, it doesn't want to. There's four rubber grommets. One here, one here, and two more back here. They might come off with the plastic and that's fine, but basically you gotta pull on that engine cover like you wanna break it. You gotta yank on it super hard. I grabbed it from each of the corner, each of the corners with both hands and pulled on it like I was just trying to rip it off. It's the only way to get it off. As long as you're sure everything else is off of it, then that's the way to do it. Okay, so here's the engine cover and the air filter lives right inside it. There are nine screws that you gotta take out and they don't need to come out all the way. They just will sit in there and now we can just hinge this off and take it right out. There's the air filter. Wow. Amazingly enough, mine is very clean, it looks like. Oh, I guess it's the other side. So it's really easy to just take it out. Actually, yeah, mine is really clean. Totally. Yeah, usually you'd find like lots of dirt inside here. I guess I only did, I don't know, 10,000 kilometers. That's really clean, amazing. Okay, so should be able to just put this guy in there. This is gonna be tricky for me because I'm holding a phone while holding a very oily air filter. So this is the easy part. Oh, you know what, I meant to clean it. Okay, I'll come back after I've cleaned the inside. Basically, I just wanna wipe down the dirt inside. So I wiped down the inside. It's not as important on the bottom. Well, I guess it's the top side. The bottom side is where, sorry, I'm reversing that. The top side is where the air is clean going into the engine. So it was already clean. I gave it a little bit of a wipe, but there was almost nothing in there because that's the whole idea. The filter is preventing anything from getting in there. So I clean that up and I should be able to just stick this guy in here. I might pause the video. Cause, yeah, I'm gonna do that because this is the easy part. You guys won't have any trouble doing this. Air filters in, it's really easy. This guy has these hinges and they hinge in, in there on those guys. And then just set it down and then screw in the screws. two hands to flip that over. I was able to do that. And now, just have to do all of the screws. They're easy to do. Just have to make sure that you've got it all lined up. And as always, make sure you're careful because on this side is the, uh, oh, I mixed that up. This side. Oh, it is there. Yeah, in there. That's where the airflow sensor is. So you need to be careful around that guy. With all the screws in, we're gonna put it in now. These four holes are for the grommets. Those two there. And then, um, sorry, that one. And that one. Four. 
Hopefully that made some sense. So, we set it down. Try to align it in place. Get that on there. That just, just needs to not prevent it from aligning. These guys over here are fine. I think it's aligned. And now I'm just going to push down on the four corners. Bear with me as I have never done this before. I really think I have it aligned, but like I said, I had to crank on it to get it off. So I probably have to push really hard to get it in. in. Yeah, it's probably going to be really hard to do this. Like I said, it was extremely hard to take it off. No idea. I want to record me doing this so that you get a sense of just how much pressure and where to put it. But I can only use one hand. I need a GoPro. I totally have it in the right spot. One sec. Okay, I'm back. So, I haven't gotten anywhere. I haven't gotten any of them in. I think I need to get the back ones in first. So, I grabbed a piece of wood. They are, like, down there and there, I think. So, I have a rubber mallet. Let's see if this works. done too much damage to the plastic, thankfully, but I also haven't gotten it in. No idea. Do not understand how they engineered this. I have tried pressing down with my weight. I don't weigh much, but it is really hard. I think I can get the front ones, because I know like exactly where they are and where to press, but it pops this way as soon as I do that. So I think if I got the back ones in, then I'll be able to get the front ones in. It's not easy. Okay, I think I know what to do. We take off these rubber grommets. I already did one, taking them off. You just gotta peel it off. Peel it off, and we're gonna we're gonna put them on this thing, and then put it onto the engine. Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, it's not that terribly hard to get these off. Just takes a little bit of time and fiddling. Using two hands helps too. Let's see if I can do this part with only one hand so that you can see. So, I think this is not going to be hard. I think with... It's like, it's already in, I think. I think it's like super easy from this point of view. Do that one with two hands, but the first one is easy. I'm gonna come back and do these with they're like mostly in. I think that one's in, but I'm gonna go back to all of them with two hands to make sure. Oh, yeah, it's not in. focusing on stuff in the back, not 
I'm holding. See that lip? It's really hard to catch on that lip. Huh. I'm gonna try it with two hands. I'll be right back. I figured it out. Ratchet. This is the tool to use. Basically, all I did was push, not straight down, because then it, this will fit and it will get stuck in the center of it, which I did a couple times and it was fine. I was able to pull it out even without pulling out this grommet. But if you try to do it along the sides like that, this one's already in, but like that, you see what I'm kind of doing? Like along the sides and it pushes the rubber down and it stretches the rubber and it compresses and pulls it right in. So I'm going to see if I can show you. So this one's not in. <clears throat> so let's see. So if I go like this. show you guys but that's the action to do is to just push along the sides so let me just show you on this one a little closer so on the sides and just push down I'm pushing the rubber in and then there and then on that side push the rubber down and then there right kind of like four corners you get in like really it's so easy just you would need two hands. There, that only took me like a minute to do two more. Just like that. Just like that. It's in there, good. It'd probably be really hard for me to yank this out because they just, like I said, it was super hard to yank this thing off. So, all four on, good. Now let's see if my idea is right that I can just put this on. Set it in. Make sure that guy out of the way. This guy I found it. It can be below, but I think it's better to just get it on. And it's not in the way. It's got plenty of flex to move with it as we're pushing it down. Or taking it off really. Although when I had it up when I was taking it off, I had this off. Totally doing it. Yeah, that's all it took. All four. I think you're in there. It's got a little bit of play, right? Because it's on grommets that way. That way, the rattling of the engine doesn't make the plastic rattle or whatever. Whatever the reason is, but. Yeah. Now to get it off is like insanely hard. Seriously, I had to grab here and my right hand under here or here or something and just crank on it. I had to just crank on it so hard to just get the one out and then the other three corners. That's the hardest part of the entire job. The rest of it, yeah, you can figure this out on your own. Just push this in. Snap. Oh, I'm not even probably showing it on the screen. I got. Then we got this little cable over here. That uh, pushes in a spot there. Um, yeah, just, just like that. And then this guy here. This was interesting. I'm going to show you this because no other videos show this. I never understand how. Okay, focus phone, come on. Yeah. So, this is a pull tab here. Even though it doesn't feel like my finger can move it at all, and it pretty much can't. I use a screwdriver. But, on the inside there, there's a little, there's a little stinking tab in there. And if I pull the tab, it lifts that up, right? And I don't know if you can see. You probably can't see it in the video. 
but once you've got it off the other side, but see there's a so this open square in the middle of that that tab. That is what grips onto this. There is a plastic tab there. That's what holds it in. That is the catch. So by by simply using a flathead screwdriver and pulling this back, it lifts off of it. That's all it takes. So you just snap that on. And on the screwdriver. Taking it off is really easy, as long as you know what to do. Just a little bit of pressure there. I got it off, and I think, due to that snapping sound. Boom, that's it, that's all it takes. You guys probably think I'm silly for not knowing that. But now I know. And now you do, if you didn't. So that's about it for that side. Oh, sorry, not quite. These guys over here, also, they just pinched out. They were, um, those two, right? You see where I'm at? Oh my goodness, focus phone. Seriously. Seriously, it's not gonna focus? Oh man, this thing focuses usually most of the time. Great. Once you get, like you can leave those, when you're taking this all apart, leave those in. Once you pull this off, then you can you can squeeze it on the inside. A pair of pliers. They just pop right out. They just push it in the hole. Boom. Easy. Right? Done. That's it. On that side, obviously, I put that back back in. This guy, also easy. I'll just make sure that this is up pretty far. And then and then you use pliers. Do that with two hands. There. Two hands is able to get it on. It should get flush right up to that. There, on that side. And then on this side too. Same idea. You should be able to get it up so it's flush and then it's a physical obstacle to go any further. Then, it's this guy here. Real easy. Pliers. Grab this. Gripped. Just grab it. Get it up here. There is a particular spot there. Two particular grooves that you get it on. There we go. It's done. It's easy. That's it. I'm so sorry about the focus. This phone usually can focus. I do not understand. <laughs> 